Over the next few minutes, we will explain how to enter invoices in order entry. Use the OE Invoice Entry screen to invoice shipments. You can use it to create a single invoice from multiple shipments. When an invoice is created, it must always reference a shipment. Let's have a look at entering invoices in order entry. Go to Order Entry, OE Transactions, then Access Invoice Entry. There are a couple of ways that we can create an invoice. We can create an invoice against a single shipment, or we can create an invoice against multiple shipments. To create an invoice against multiple shipments, we need to enter a check mark in the From Multiple Shipments option. In this example, we are going to create an invoice for an existing shipment. Let's begin by entering the customer number. In the Customer Number field, enter 1200. In the Shipment Number field, click on the Finder button. A list of all outstanding shipments for this customer will appear. Let's select the shipment number 64. You will notice that some of the existing values for the field that are present are coming from the original shipment. We can overwrite information that is not grayed out, such as the invoice date, location, ship to date, ship to location, description, and reference field. The system will assume that all items that exist in this shipment are to be invoiced. If we look at the bulletin board, we will notice that two items have shipped. By default, it will attempt to invoice both bulletin boards. If we don't want to invoice this shipment at this time, what we can do is change the quantity invoice from 2 to 0. In this example, we want to invoice the bulletin boards. If we want to view some of the other fields that exist, we can click on the Item Tax button. We can now see the details for the bulletin board. We can change things like the unit price and unit weight. If we wanted to add a comment or instruction, we can enter a check mark for the Comments Instructions field. Then select the Go button. On this screen, we can add a comment or instruction. Enter No Refunds. Click Close. Click Save. You will notice that it is possible for you to view the history of the item by selecting the History button. If we wanted to create a prepayment, then click the Prepayment button. Note, when you create a prepayment, this function is using the Accounts Receivable interface. To post the invoice, click the Post button. The invoice is now posted. This invoice will be sent to the Accounts Receivable program and can be edited further within the Accounts Receivable module. That's how you create invoices using the Order Entry module. Congratulations! You now know how to enter invoices in Order Entry.